Good morning, the new four. Hope all of you are okay. Now let's start to solve concept two of lesson two. Uh, number one, two, the correct answer. Number one, in both human and owls, we find that the ability to see at night is, we said that uh, the owls uh, had the ability to can see better than the uh, humans. So similar, no different, of course. Greater in human, no. Better for human, also no. The senses upon which you, uh, you depend to hold small radio playing at low volume in a dark room are when we need to uh, uh, depend on a specific senses to can hold a small radio, so we uh, will depend on our hearing and touch because he said that at low volume, so we can depend on our ears, okay? Number three, the brain at the control, uh, the control center of the nervous system can deal with dots at the same time. We said that there is a strong or an important relation between our brain and our five senses. So brain has the ability to control with all five senses at the same time. Number four, some animals go out at night in their habitats too. Search for air, of course not. Search for predator, no. Search for brave. Sleep in, uh, in the open area, also no. Number five, animals that become active at night are cold. We said that animal, uh, 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 animal uh, that uh, are active at night Old nocturnal animals. Number six, some animals become active during the night due to the following reasons, except that junior four, you to please all of you, don't forget that except you have to concentrate with it. Except means all the following without specific one. The night is characterized by the cool weather. Yes, so it will be. Uh, 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 it will uh, it will not be except one. The night is good time for relaxation. No, it's it's uh, uh, it's not, it's not the reason to uh, the nocturnal animals to can be active at night. The night is quiet, so they can hear rays. Yes. So now we will uh, find that we have three answers: yes and one no. So except for the no, which will be. B, the night is good time for relaxation because D, the night is a time when prayers are available. So A, C, D are the reasons for uh, 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 the found of the nocturnal animals, okay? After that, number seven. Snack has the ability to catch prayers at night because it can smell them. No, it can hear them. No, it can see them clearly at night, it can sense the heat, so it will be, it can sense the heat. Both bats and mosquitoes, uh, not mosquitoes, become uh, active during night, which, are, uh, which of the following statements is correct? Both can swim well, of course not, both can run fast, no also. Bats play on mosquito or mosquito play on bat. Of course, bats play on the mosquito. So they are active, or they are from the nocturnal animals. If a rat was found at equal distance from an owl and a snake, and it made a quiet move at night, which of the following statements is correct? Now we have the rat act as a prey, uh, and we have owl and a snake act as predators. Which one will be faster to can reach to the red before the other. Depending on the red will uh, 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 make a quiet move at night. So we need animal which has sharp hearing, okay? The owl might reach uh, uh, it uh, first if it senses the red body heat. No, owl will be rich first, correct. But the second part of the sentence is wrong. Owl depends on the sense of hearing, not depend on the sense of uh, 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 sense of the body. 
okay, or uh, I'm sorry, sense of the uh, heat. Uh, snake might try to fetch, no, pull might reach uh, uh, to uh, the rate at the same time, no, so it will be D. The owl might reach it first because I will have sharp eyesight and him, okay? Number 10. Pets very own dots to locate the prey in the door. So, uh, uh, number 10, pets uh, very own echolocation really means here uh, depend on echolocation to only to locate prey, their sharp hearing only, their sharp eyesight and taste, echolocation and sharp hearing. So, it will be echo uh, location and sharp. Hearing. Echolocation is correct, but due to the presence of the word only, so it will be wrong. So you have to need code to read all the answers very well at the first view before you choose the one. Okay. Flying pets don't uh, have different objects at night be uh, because they can see them. No, pets can see very well at night, touch them, no smell them, no hear the echo reflected from them. Yes. Okay. Thirteen. I will have all the following properties that give them a greater ability to sense the distance of praise, making uh, making low sounds. Except, don't forget junior four. Once you see except, so we will have three answers are correct and one will be wrong. So you will choose the except one means the wrong one. Okay. Uh, owls uh, have large eyes. Yes. A powell shaped face, yes. A head that turns in all directions, yes. Weak sense of hearing, no. So, due to the presence of the word except, so we will choose the wrong one. Because except means without or unless. Okay, junior four. The owl's large eyes and powell shaped face considered as for sure structural. Adaptation because it's a, a, a change in the structure of the body. The nervous system of mammals consists of brain only. Once you see only, you have to make sure that all the rest of answers can't uh, uh, can't be correct. So you have to complete brain only, spinal cord only, nervous and spinal cord uh, only, brain, spinal cord and nerves. So it will be D for sure. Number sixteen. The electrical impulses that transmit information from the surrounding environment through nerves are in one direction only, in one direction, uh, in one direction only to the brain, in one direction only from the brain, in two opposite directions, the first from the brain and back to it, in two opposite directions, the first to the brain and then from it. Of course, A wrong, B wrong, uh, C and D maybe, but we have to know what our start point. So the electrical impulses that transmit information from surrounding environment. So it will be uh, uh, depend on our uh, sensory receptors, which will take or will uh, uh, transform the uh, external uh, uh, stimuli. So it will uh, uh, it will be from uh, from outside to the brain, and then from it, yeah, in two opposite directions. First to the brain and then from it. Okay, so it will be D. Both the spinal cord and the nervous, both spinal cord and nervous are located in the backbone. No, are located in small intestine. Sure, no. Transmit messages from the brain to the all parts of uh, the body and vice versa. Yes, uh, C. Also wrong because uh, uh, he said only. It's vice versa junior four, not only. All of the following are sensory organs, except except means without or unless. So 
for sure would be the lungs because we have five sensory eyes nose skin uh, uh, eyes nose skin uh, and tongue also uh, and our ears okay Nineteen. The nervous uh, the nervous transmits information from and to the brain in the form of electrical impulses. Don't forget that electrical impulses. Number twenty. Which of the following choices? Uh, which of the following choices explain how the body reacts to the smell uh, of uh, food in a correct order? Uh, to can smell uh, the odor of uh, the food. So at uh, the first, you have to uh, start from the nose because it's the sense, uh, the organ which is responsible for uh, 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 smell sense, okay? So you have to start from the nose, then nose start to transmit or send specific messages to our uh, brain through nervous, then to the brain, so it will be of course, A and C, no, because we said that our start point will be from nose. Nose, brain, nervous, no. We said that nervous is a connection between our five senses and the brain. 21, the organ that process the information collected through the sense of sight is the brain. Process means uh, understanding or translate, okay? Twenty-two. The correct order of uh, the correct order for a pet to locate a mosquito is the mosquito makes a sound that reaches the pet and then return to the mosquito. No, the pet makes sound. Yes, uh, that reach a wall then uh, return to the mosquito. Will be uh, 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 no. Sound of birds, no. The pet makes a sound that reaches to the mosquito and then return back to the pet, will be yes, because the uh, pets depend on echolocation. So pet will uh, produce, will make a sound. The sound will travel through the air, uh, hit the object, which is the mosquito, then reflect or pounce or return back to the, uh, uh, to the pet who can identify or determine the place of uh, uh, the mosquito. If you wake up to uh, the smell of grass chicken, the first part of your body that receive this must well smell. So of course, it will be our nose because it's the organ which is responsible for odors or smell. True, false. Uh, put true or false, number one, the sensory receptors in the eyes receive the sound produced by a radio and send it to the brain. Sensory receptor I, so I responsible for sight, not sound, so it will be wrong. Animals that are active during the daytime are called nocturnal animals. Of course, no, because he said die a day night. Nocturnal animals are animals that active at Night time, not the daytime. Okay. Um, some animals prefer hunting during the night than hunting during the day. Will be yes, due to the three reasons that we said I studied before. Number one, the weather of uh, the habitat or the place uh, so hot, so they prefer to be active at night more than uh, uh, in the morning due to the weather uh, become uh, becomes cool. Uh, number two, uh, their predators, uh, their uh, prey are available at night. And uh, uh, number three, uh, because they start to use the dark to uh, blend with it or to hide from their uh, uh, predators to avoid hunt. Uh, some animal to avoid to be hunted. Uh, number four, some animals have abilities that humans don't have. And these abilities are called super sensory adaptation. Yes, that's why we uh, started the concept 
uh, to the owl depend on the echo to determine the location of the praise? No. Um, owl depend on the hearing or sight, not echo. Okay. Okay. Number six. A bat makes sound that hit insects and then pounds back to eat. The, uh, thus, the bat can locate them. Yes. A snake has the ability to sense the cold bodies of prey using special parts of its, uh, uh, its face. No, depend on the heat that it made from uh, the bodies of the living organisms. The spinal cord is the main con uh, control center of the body, which carries the messages from and to the brain. We said that once you see uh, the word of uh, uh, a main control center, so it will be the brain. Okay. Uh, the heart and eyes are connected to the brain through uh, blood vessels that transmit information will be for sure wrong. The heart and eyes are controlled to the brain through spinal cord. Okay. Number 10, tongue is the, the sensory organ responsible for taste, which sends messages to the brain to be processed and uh, the poor identifying the food type. Yes. So it will be correct. Number 11, the sensory receptors. Sensory receptors in the nose are responsible for touch? No. Touch responsible for it, the sensory receptor uh, uh, in the skin, okay? But nose smelling. Now let's start with the lesson three. Number one, uh, when Jerboa hears the sound of moving snack, it how can Jerboa adapt with the door? Boy, jump quickly to run away from the snack. Uh, two, the system responsible for moving your hand away from dangers such as touching a hot cup of tea is for sure nervous system. Number three, when snakes make a noise, the sensory receptor found in Jerboa's dots send a warning message to the brain here. So the organ of ears will be responsible for, uh, 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 sense, uh, 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 responsible for hearing, okay? Number four, when your hand touches the spines of a, a cactus plant, it is with the drawing, uh, in dots, uh, when you touch the spine uh, of a cactus plant, you will move your hand through less than one second. Number five. During the crossing the street, you had to stop for a moment to avoid the danger of being hit by a car. The system that I'll treat you was the nervous system. The system which is responsible for attention me to the danger that surrounded me, alarming me to the, uh, 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 to the danger that surrounded me will be our nervous system. Number two, two and fours. Number one. The body senses and systems work separately when animals run away from their enemies. No, we said that our five sensory and uh, systems have to work together to can perform its function, whatever its function motive. The Egyptian gerbil lives in the forest. No, we said that live in the desert. Uh, gerbil has large ears which help uh, in the sensing of uh, the snake. So it will be right because they can hear the snake very well. Number four, the Egyptian jerboa can jump for long distance, depending on its long hand legs. Yes, 
their back legs or long so like in girl so uh, it can jump uh, for long distance okay uh, number five number uh, five hoping of the jibboa in the exact patterns to run away from danger is considered as a structural adaptation no because uh, to choose to uh, jump in a zigzag pattern, it will be the attitude uh, uh, of uh, the jerboa, not the uh, change in the structure. So when uh, it, re uh, it related to the attitude or the behavior of uh, the living organism, so uh, we can consider it as a, a behavioral adaptation, not structure. Number six, the large ears of a jerboa is an example of uh, structural adaptation. Here's a change in the structure, so it will be correct. The habitat of the jerboa is similar to the polar pair, of course not, because both of them live in a different habitat, so they not be uh, similar. Number two, uh, three, I'm sorry, uh, write the scientific term of each of the following, number one, a species of desert uh, not rodents with a small body, large ears, and long uh, legs. So it will be Egyptian. Egyptian. Jerboa. Number two, the shape of the passes taken by Jerboa while running away from danger. So it will be. Zigzag, zig, zig. Number three, the time taken by an organism's body to respond to different reactions around it. So, will be reaction time. Four, a system that works inside the human body such uh, that it. Uh, such uh, that it keeps the organisms away from dangerous so system it will be nervous system nervous system number five the organ which receives and the processes the messages sent from the sensory receptors that are found in the jiboa you have to differentiate between four and five four asking about the system but five is asking about the organ, so it will be brain. It will be the brain. Read the question by well, Junior Ford, please. Compare, uh, it's not compare, it's complete. Uh, now we will read the situation uh, and uh, we will start to choose which sense is responsible for that and what is the responsible uh, uh, organ about this sense. You like the skin of your classmates' perfume, so will be responsible for smell. And the sense will be smell. Responsible organ it will be nose. Walking over a very hot sand on the beach, so it will be sense touch. But uh, the organ scan. Eating food with a high salt, so it will be taste. And the organ will be our tongue. Listen to the music, so sense of hearing. But the organ will be ears. Watching the stars, so it will be sight. The organ responsible eyes. Now we finish in the four, so uh, goodbye and see you next session, Charlotte.